Back with another video for you. Today we're going to talk about Photoshop. We're going to talk about the basic of bitmap graphics. And the first topic I thought that we should cover is pixel art. So when you open Photoshop, uh, if you have the 2019 version, you get this window. You can click, uh, click on create new. You get a new document window and we can cha uh, change our settings. The default setting is for a new document is seven inches by five inches. We want to change that to suit our pixel art document. So usually we want to have a very small file size in terms of the width and the height. And we definitely want to change that to pixels. Uh, so let's do that again, 64 by 64. 300 pixel per inch resolution is a bit overkill. We're going to change that to 72. And then we're going to click on create. So this is your usual layout for uh, Photoshop, so you got your color and swatches on the right hand side. This tab is uh, one of the most important tab in Photoshop, which is the history tab. So every time you do something in Photoshop, it will get recorded. So if I were to go to the brush tool and start painting, I get to see all of the, the brush strokes as a new as a new tab. So we can go back and forth in history, so really handy. If you don't have the history, you can go to window and you can click on history, it will come up. So that's that. Uh, in terms of uh, simple navigation, uh, if you hold alt and scroll up and down, you can zoom in and out. If you hold space, you can pan. So if I were to zoom in quite a bit, I can pan my document, zoom out. So I haven't zoomed in about this much. Uh, now we want to get the grid up on our canvas. So we have our canvas. If we go to view, show, grid, we get to see our canvas. Now we want to change the grid to be every single pixel. So we've got 64 pixel by 64. So if we go to edit, preferences, guides, grids, and slices, uh, we want to change our grid every one instead of inches, one pixels. That subdivision is not necessary. So instead of dividing every pixel to four, we don't want to divide it, just going to leave it at one. And that will be just perfect. Uh, click OK. And you get your grid ready for pixel art. The tool that we want to use, you don't want to use brush tool for when you do pixel art. So if you use uh, brush tool, especially when it's a soft brush, you don't get the desired effect. So what I prefer to use is just the pencil tool. So if you click and hold and select the second tool, you can edit each pixels uh, individually. So if the pencil setting is higher than one pixels in your Photoshop, so if you go here, you can change it to one pixels. The way you want to do this is just individually edit the pixels. If you want to zoom in, that's also fine. Uh, there's two way, way to delete the pixels. My preferred method is if I'm doing pixel art on a black uh, uh, white canvas, I would just change the foreground color and the background color. So standard is foreground black, background is white. So if you click on switching the foreground and background color icon, which is there, you can just go back and paint over the areas that you want to edit. So that's the really the basic of it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with a new canvas. I'm going to create the first uh, pixel art. So uh, if I want to change the color, I'm going to double click, choose a blue color. Uh, I'm going to get my reference image up on the other side and uh, zoom in. So I'm just going to check out my reference and start painting. Right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, but this is really the basics. If you want to change it, double click, change your color. If you want to, if you make a mistake, let's say you do this, go back to the white and then just paint over your mistake. And that's pretty much the basic of pixel art. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And I'm going to speed it up and uh, we'll just go over it in the end again. Awesome.
Right, now that is done and uh, one of the things I didn't explain is the eyedrop tool. By the way, if you have 2019 uh, version of Photoshop, if you want to know about any of the tools, all you have to do is just hover over it and it will explain in a really handy short clip what each tool does. So the eyedrop tool, we, we use it to sample the uh, colors. So I did have to sample uh, to go back and forth. Use your background and foreground to sample different things. So if I were to swap it, so let's say I, the most used color was the the blue one and the yellow one. So I had those and I was just swapping back and forth between them. So that's the best way to do it. One thing I want to explain uh, about the uh, pixel art and how to export this. Uh, you have to change a pre another preferences if you want to enlarge your uh, your image because right now this is the 18 pixels by 18 pixels from the 64 pixels that we had in our canvas we only use that much and if I double click on the magnifying glass this will give me the actual size of my image as you can see we can barely see it if we were to enlarge this the Photoshop will try to soften the edges there is a couple of things that you can do to prevent that. So the first thing you need to do, go to Edit, Preferences, General, and we want to change the image interpolation to preserve hard edges. I believe the one that is uh, by default selected is by cubic automatic. So from that, you want to change it to preserve hard edges. That will help it to uh, stay pixel art uh, format or visual style is going to stay as pixel art. So just to demonstrate how you do this, the best way to do it, you want to crop all of this uh, rest of the canvas. So you want to have it exactly the size of your, uh, your art, your pixel art. So I'm going to use the second tool. This is a marquee selection tool. I'm going to click and drag around my... Uh, pixel art if you press C on your keyboard it will change it to the crop tool and because we had that selection already there it's going to confirm the crop tool I have a white line here let me just get rid of that I'm going to change it and to confirm it you can either uh, click this tick on the top or control enter so I'm going to press control enter that will confirm the crop It's going to crop my image now if I go to image and image size as you can see, it's 18 pixels by 18 pixels. Uh, super tiny. Again, if I were to show you, we want to change that to look half decent. Right, so uh, if I go to image, image size, we want to change that to roughly about 256 pixels by 256 pixels. Again, you need to select... Uh, if I was automatic, look what happens. For sure, we'll try to soften this and this is what you get. We don't want that. We want to get preserve the hard edges. So if I go to image, image size, 256. Uh, do, do, do. This one, nearest edge. Click OK. You get a perfect pixel art. Now you can turn off uh, uh, view show grid. If you can imagine if we were to do pixel art at that file size, as that's this file size, 256 by 256, obviously it will take forever. This is why we started by 64 by 64, and we only used 18 pixels of that 64. Uh, and in a nutshell, this is it. This is pixel art, and this is how you create uh, this visual style of, uh, of graphic. Uh, try to create different images. If you want to do another uh, emoji, that's fine. I recommend after... Having done couple, you should uh, have a go and uh, try your or, uh, maybe your favorite character from your animation or from the game that you uh, play. Or if you like me and you love Goku, maybe do Goku pixel art. Why not? And uh, I might do that in another video. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you practice your pixel art and uh, like the video, share. And make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you in the next video.